Hey guys, welcome to Holistic Home. My name is Jenna Maloney. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about creating an altar based on your intention, what you would like to create in your life, and tips on design, as well as why having an altar is such a powerful healing tool in your home. So let's get started. To get started, let's define what an altar is. So to me, an altar is a visual representation of a specific intention or focus. That intention can be anything. Beauty, healing, connecting to the ancestors, spirituality, whatever it is that you would like to tap into. Altars are sacred places traditionally used in religious ceremony and ritual. They are a focal point for energy, and thus you can build an altar and use it to cultivate whatever energy you would like to increase in your life. So example, if you would like to have greater abundance in your life, you could create an abundance altar. If you would like greater health, you could create an altar with plants and with pictures of people who are healthy. Kind of like a vision board. An altar can work in the same way. Altars are also physical reminders of what's important to us and what we would like to create. They can also be a physical reminder of what our purpose is. They do not need to be used religiously, but just a reminder, they are very powerful spiritual tools and can be used for amazing healing. Essentially, altars are anchors for energy. They are central focus points for energy. Every altar is unique. You can create an altar to be as small or as large as you would like. Creating an altar is an artistic process. It is an act of creativity and an act of magic. So before you start casting spells and intentions, make sure you have the proper space. Altars are usually placed on flat surfaces or tables. They can be placed inside of a glassed, um, a glassed off area or just out in the open. They can be on shelves, they can even be on the floor, but usually on a table. I suggest placing your altar somewhere with good lighting and good ventilation because you don't want your intention and your objects to become stagnant and collect dust. Also, before you begin placing objects on your altar, make sure you give it a thorough cleaning and a dusting because after all, cleanliness is godliness. So once you know why you're creating your altar and the intention you have, remember this can be very general or very specific, just depends on you. Um, next, you choose the proper space. And third, you begin designing. And this is where the fun comes in. I'm going to show you a few examples of altars that I have in my room to inspire you and show you what an altar can be like. This is the first altar I'm sharing with you. The intention of this altar is to remind myself of how loved I am. Down at the bottom, you can see this quote that I wrote. Treating myself like a precious object will make me strong. I got this quote from the book, The Artist's Way, which helped me a lot in uncovering my creative blocks and also developing deeper self-care routines. So up on the top is a collection of items that were gifted to me. In the center, this is a picture of me and my grandma. She has passed away about seven years ago. And in this picture, she's holding me. I'm just a newborn baby. And I always feel so loved when I look at this picture. So taken care of and held and protected. Over here, this green castle. This was an object that actually belonged to my grandma. So again, it reminds me of her, something that just makes me feel connected and taken care of. Down here we have this lovely fruit wood block. Um, my partner made this for me last Christmas. 
and this is sort of a nickname, an inside joke that I have with him. So when I think about him, it makes me feel really happy, just overflowing with joy. And then over here on the left, it, this angel, again, just reminding me of how loved I am, that I'm watched over, that I'm not alone. And this was also gifted to me by a friend who's a healer. Lastly, this little monkey. My sister gifted this to me um, after she came home from a school trip. And I've always loved monkeys. So once again, this just makes me feel so loved and taken care of. And reminds me that I have lots of people in my life who care about me. And I'm not alone. This second altar is more of a general altar and it's very 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 simple. So I'll start at the top here in the windowsill I have a candle and right behind that candle is a mushroom that I picked myself. Um, down here on the radiator are two plants and below that is this painting that I made two years ago with my special wand right below it. You can see that. It's kind of dark. So again, this altar is just very simple. It's just a beautiful focal point utilizing the radiator since it's hot outside and it's not on. And I just want to show you guys that altars can be really simple just like this. This is my third and final altar I'm going to be sharing with you guys. As you can see, I have a few crystals, I have a candle. On the right, I have sage for burning. And then in the back, I have a jar where I write my fears and my worries and my dreams and my goals and everything that I want to release, I write on a piece of paper and I drop it in that jar. So this altar has a couple different intentions, healing and spiritual connection. So, just a reminder, your altar can have more than one intention. So, a few more ideas for altars besides what I've shown you and already said are you can use placemats, you can use lamps and different lighting fixtures, you can use tablecloths, you can use oracle cards, and if you do, for example, a daily oracle reading, you can put your card on your altar and then keep rotating that every day. Um, feel free to put things like letters or handwritten notes that someone has given you. Things that are personal to you. Things that make you elicit certain feelings that you want to feel. Like I mentioned in the first altar, I felt protected and cared for and connected to those people in my life. So. Again, this is an artistic process, so make it personal and make it yours. So as a little bonus in this video, I would like to pick an oracle card from my Healing with the Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. So let's shuffle, shuffle. I just let the card come out. This is what they look like. Oh, there it goes. All right. <laughs> Look at that. Healing. Hmm. That girl looks so comfortable. So the message for today is healing. And maybe there's someone watching this who is really needing some healing right now. And maybe the altar that you need to create for yourself should be focused on your healing. I suggest placing things like crystals and maybe a living plant, um, maybe some herbal teas on your altar. An idea just came to me. Maybe write some affirmations down and roll it up and place it on your altar. I think that that could be very healing, as well as listening to healing music while you're creating your altar. So during the process of designing your altar, um, for all of you watching this, 
Maybe put on some music that matches the mood of what you would like to create just to amplify those feelings and just to amplify it that much more. Um, to all of us, I think we all need healing and I just want to say that I'm really grateful for you watching this right now. Um, my intention for this channel is healing, like number one. So I'm, I'm really hoping that I can convey that and that I am. And if there's anything that you guys would like to see, or if you have any questions, please, please ask. Again, thank you for connecting. And take this time to create an altar that is going to give you the healing that you need and that is going to benefit you in the greatest way that you need.